Gotta go talk to the whaler. Maybe he can make us explosives now. You've done it. We heard the blast from here. Gods, the echo. I am surprised these glyphs didn't come down on your head. Got things ready here. Go and tell my brother that he can come home. Hello again. What can I do for you? Your brother forgives you. He's found you a place to stay. He, he does? That's a huge weight off my chest. One so old I hardly remembered it was there. Right, well, I'm packed and ready to go. Come on into the inventory. The hermit climbs aboard with all his belongings. Now I'm going to be attacked by a gigantic fish. He's lost overboard. He's dead. Sorry. <laughs> well, here we are. The hermit notices the old whaler standing on the dock waiting for him. Little brother, you're home. I'm so sorry. I was so foolish. We both were. Come on inside. Let me get your bags. The two brothers walk away down the dock. One of them pauses for a moment and turns back to you. Oh, stranger. If you find any more debris that needs clearing, I'm working on making some more packed explosives. Come by the old whaling yards anytime. Here, this is on the house, for all your help. I hope you can put them to good use, wherever you find cause for it. It's just good to have. Alright, so we got a bunch of explosives. I know a bunch of places we can go with them. Vaguely. We're gonna want to go to the volcanic islands here soon. You set the charge and light the fuse. The debris crumbles away. So there is an abyssal fish here, a very dangerous looking one, that comes out at night, it seems. It's right there. Rusted music box, a relic. A large oak box with a rusted hand crank on the side. It emits a low, rhythmic chime as it rocks with the waves. So I want to see if the, uh, if we rest at night, day 69, nice. Um, normally there's like a big column that appears right here, but it doesn't seem to now that we've fished that up. So now we know what those columns are. All right, um, I think we're done here. Oh, I gotta pick up my crab pots though. We'll manifest back to the collector in a second. Ooh, yes, we will. <laughs> Definitely gonna have to make a few trips to sell everything. <laughs> we should make a decent amount of money off of this. Mm. We definitely want to go back um, to. Marrow, because there is a debris zone with a trawling point um, that definitely has something in it. Here 
we go. Uh, and now we just go over here. And we can get two for one. <laughs> Packed explosives lost overboard. Oh no. Just redo that real quickly. Don't want to waste nothing. There we go. Okay, um... Now we just need to, uh, we know that we just need to go around here. There we go. Here it is. Is this refined metal? It is. Interesting. That was like marked as like a very fancy location on the map. I wonder why. I guess it's just a rare item we don't need to buy. Let's put that into storage for now. So you've returned. I wasn't sure you were coming back. You dragged the massive music box into the room, gouging the wooden floorboards beneath it. The collector doesn't seem to mind. He is focused on the box. You found this at the cliffs, didn't you? Yes. Ah, excellent. He opens the crimson book, its spine crackling audibly. Selecting a page carefully, he begins to read aloud. The words sound muffled as though he's speaking through a thick haze. You hear a growling, crackling in your ears. Suddenly, your vision flares and both your ears pop. He closes the book. We must keep searching, been thinking more on where we might find another. The reef at Stellar Basin may have caught and accumulated some wreckage. Search around that area. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. What will you do once you have all the relics? He hmm. ponders for a moment. It's surprising, isn't it? The attachments we hold towards simple objects. But they are anything but simple. Seemingly mute articles can speak in different ways. If I showed you a childhood toy, you would be awash with forgotten memories. They hold the power to recall what was once lost. What do you know about the old mayor of Little Marrow? That stuttering old fool, yes. I knew him. He'd join us on the water sometimes, but it was more of a hindrance than a help. He never seemed entirely with it. Can't imagine he's fared too well since I last saw him. The banishing words will provide you a temporary protection from most things. If spoken swiftly enough, they can be used defensively. Choose your moment carefully. The more they're spoken, the more they are understood hmm. interesting <laughs> um okay so we we're being pointed towards the stellar basin the issue is i don't know how to get the auroral fish so it might be time to buy a trawling net and give that a try
Unfortunately, we're like giving up access to things by doing that. The lighthouse keeper approaches you in the dock wearing a questioning expression. You must have been around most of the islands by now. Have you found whatever it is you're looking for? I'm just fishing. She recoils from your flagrant lie. Why do you mistrust me so? What have I done to warrant such suspicion? She turns from you, shaking her head and muttering. She heads back towards the lighthouse. What is it? I've been finding relics for the collector. Relics? Collector? I'm not sure what you're hoping to achieve with this character. Do you even know? Have you stopped to consider it? Yes, I guess. <laughs> All right. Um, let's look at around the usual places for some lumber. Because we really need some. That's metal. It's interesting how lumber dependent we've become. Um, it's really our biggest bottleneck. <laughs> two lumber spots in the Stellar Basin that we could go to. Let's sell everything that we have in storage. This big bag of doubloons better go for a pretty penny. I think we'll make like 500. Wouldn't be too bad. Okay, 368. That's not terrible. Alright, let's head out to the Stellar Basin. We could also, alternatively, Head to, uh, you know what? I'm trying to think. We could go to the volcanic cliffs. The spooky shrine. It might be meaningful to do that. I also want to do the, uh, strong fish thing. And I think that's over by the stellar basin, isn't it? I think we need these for that. Ooh. Bloodskin shark. Oh yeah, we already read that one. Okay. Um, stellar basin it is. Yes, I would love some lumber. Thank you. I think we also need a few metal scraps, but I could be wrong about that. Getting close here. We're unlocking things at a very rapid pace. <laughs> What's over here? What kind of fish is this? Abyssal. Again, we need to figure out how to get a rural jellyfish. We the only the only logical thing I can think of is we need it. 
We need to trawl for them using the nets. So you know what? It'll be that way that we go. More refined metal. I guess we didn't need to buy any of it. That's fine. Let's head over. I think we have enough for one of the upgrades. So we need to prioritize netting space. Um fishing space as well. Yeah, I was right. We need one more scrap. We can grab that. Oh, nice. We have we have what we need there. Excellent. I don't know if there's a final upgrade, so we'll just stick that there for now. Um, all right, let's go look for that shrine. We can put the powerful fish there, and if that isn't what the shrine wants, then you know what? We're good. A beacon from the depths below, a glimpse at a new sky. Is that what that said? Ooh. Waves lap at a pile of flotsam collecting on the beach. Nestled in the center is a wooden chest. <gasps> Large scrap of paper. Yeah, we want that. In one corner is a compass symbol. Why, yes, I would love treasure. Thank you. was around here somewhere, wasn't it? I probably have to circle the entire thing to find it. There's some boxes ha scattered haphazardly on the shore. Another piece of the map. That's awesome. Who would have thought that there were all these shipwrecks here in this area I already explored? Lucky me. There's a skinny brown dog leaping around in the shallows. Occasionally it lunges at the water, snapping at some small silvery fish. Its technique is ineffective. You jump off the boat into thigh-high water. The dog stops chasing fish and focuses on you. Throw some fish towards the dog. You throw some scraps into the water near the dog. It pounces at the splash and swallows seawater. Slowly approach. You wade towards the shore. As you get near, the dog backs up a little. It sits. Call for the dog. Make soft, encouraging noises, and the dog cautiously approaches. It stops just out of your reach. Hold out some fish in your hand. The dog approaches slowly, but soon begins licking at them. Pat the dog. You reach out and gently pat the dog. Its eyes follow your hand, and it seems to understand that you're not a threat. Pat the dog. Pat, <laughs> you pat the dog again, it seems to be enjoying it. You make your way back towards the boat. As you're wading out, you hear the sloshing of four legs cutting through the water. You stop and turn around. The dog is standing a few paces behind you. It tilts its head questioningly. Let it follow you. 
You continue, this time with the dog alongside. Its tail is wagging so hard it beats the water into a froth behind it. As you get into the boat, you turn around to pull the dog on board. Nice. Um, how are we gonna do this? I, need, I just need a four stack, right? You lift the dog onto the deck. It walks around briefly before curling into a ball and looking up at you. Maybe you could find this dog a more permanent home. That'd be nice. Think about that. How sweet. We gotta find a puppy a home. Scary crab monster right there. All right, and this is the pontoon. Dang, where was the, uh, where was the squid shrine? I gotta sell some stuff. Radiant squid was worth quite a bit. I'm just a little bit puzzled here because I thought it was like just alongside. Guess I guess it was wrong. Very excellent. However, not having enough space is not very excellent, so we'll have to come back here. Was it over there? I didn't think it was. You know what? The powerful fish might need to be those sharks right there, that hammerhead. So let's go ahead and uh, we can sell the, the whalers that we had. It's this side. Okay. North. So that's north. And it's an island set that looks like this. Rotting, rotting, rotting. Alright, well, let's just go sell those real quick. They won't be worth much soon, but may as well. And then I guess we can install the trawling uh, nets. We can give that a try. It is almost nighttime. Oh. Thought I put those in my inventory. Oops. Okay, um, floating dock. Two engine spaces. We'll get the lights, because we need more light. Now all we need is one more engine, um, and that's just two, two of those things, dang. All right, uh, nope, shipyard, that's what we want. It's a very weird setup for lights. It just feels like we have no convenient spot for them. Yeah, and then we have room for one cloudy lens, I guess. That's fine. That's a pretty, pretty bright trip. Not too big of a deal. A vast lighting apparatus packed with sinking with shining new filaments. Okay. So there we go. We've kind of mastered that. Okay. 
improved trawling net. Put that there. Now storage, take that. Go back to cargo. Put that there. Move that there, right? We want that very much. And here. There we go. All right, we've uh, pretty much made our lives easier here. Yeah, now we can do everything. Control net. Where is it? I didn't get anything with that. Okay. Uh, we should probably wait until night, right? And then try to trawl over some jellyfish, see what it does to us. What? <laughs> That's annoying. Okay, so simply moving over the jellyfish does not seem to get us a jellyfish. Give it a try, though. Nope. Ooh, okay. Maybe it did get us something. Swim around. Maybe this is what unlocks Abyssal and Hadal fishing. That'd be pretty great, wouldn't it? I don't understand. It says we have stuff in the trawl net. It says two. Net. Oh, okay. Firefly squid, red snapper. I'm truly not sure. Keep trying to uh, pull these things up, I guess. Maybe they're rare? Jellyfish. Um, that's fine. Maybe we just maybe maybe they're just rare. Maybe we just need to move back and forth a lot. I'm not sure. Whoa! What is that fish? Interesting. All right, fish market net. Sell those. We rest until night, I guess, and keep going around. I think we probably just need to swim around the jellyfish, right? And I'm just—I'm gonna keep trying this just to 
make sure we're not just getting unlucky. Aurora jellyfish. Okay. Okay. Awesome. So I was right. They're just rare. Let's read the description on them. Illuminating the netherworld with a dull glow. With few predators, a species is spreading rapidly. It is not spreading rapidly. What? Ooh, it took us forever to find one. Oh no. Oop, I blew my engine. Oh no. <laughs> this dog needs a home. Do you want it? A dog? Oh gosh, let me see. The dog bounds over to the researcher. She crouches down to pet the dog, grinning. The dog licks her chin in response. I could definitely take this one off your hands, and I'd love the company. Are you sure? Yes, you should take the dog. <gasps> yes, oh, thank you. We're going to be such good friends. He can be my assistant. Suddenly, the dog stands upright and begins to retch, its stomach heaving. Seconds later, it vomits a wet glob onto the floor. Something glistens through the mucus. Oh, um, that's interesting. I suppose that's yours if you want it. <laughs> I can clean up the rest, don't worry. Nice. About those specimens you're after. Take a look at the list of specimens I need. Please drop... Oh, okay. Ooh, we got two Aurora jellyfish. Awesome. Thank you. It looks like you've caught all of the surface specimens I need. But I do need some from deeper down. But that's going to be a problem. I don't have the equipment to catch anything deeper anyway. I developed a device to retrieve samples from the Abyssal Zone. This was over in the other research outpost, before the attack. I have an idea of how to keep the creatures at bay long enough to collect these samples. But while I work on that, I need you to retrieve some prototype parts. Carefully. I suggest you go during the day. I wouldn't want to be out on the reef at night. Alright, so maybe we did uh, finally unlock the ability to get Abyssal Fish. How exciting. Let's do it. Let's make this progress. I think we're going to wrap this game up pretty quickly.